I know that uh, a lot of you traveled to get here. How many of you flew? Yep. How many of you hitchhiked? <laughs> Just me? All right. There's good news from the airlines. Uh, if you fly a lot, this is actually something I think that you'll be happy about. They're going to start allowing you to use electronic devices during the whole flight, including takeoff and landing. So now it's official. You never have to stop playing Candy Crush. <laughs> yeah. Continually. Um, You'll also be able to read ebooks and watch videos and listen to music, but somehow I'm still sitting next to the person who wants to talk about his gluten allergy for six hours. <laughs> the airlines already they released a PSA explaining all the new rules, uh, and there's some strict rules, though. Here. Hi. We here at the FAA have decided to loosen the rules on electronic devices, meaning you'll be able to read ebooks, play games, and listen to music during takeoff, landing, and taxiing. All we ask for in exchange is one simple thing. Please don't take your shoes off in the cabin. No one likes that. It's disgusting. Thank you, and enjoy your flight. That's true. That's true. You know, airplanes already had in-flight movies and meals. Then they put TVs in the back of the seats. How many distractions do we need? I mean, can't we just sit there in our seat for five minutes, just quietly, just looking at the top of clouds and just trying to decide if it's a bunny or a clown shoes or <laughs> Abraham Lincoln or whatever it's shaped like? And then you can play that game where you, you put your finger as close as you can to the guy's head in front of you without touching him. <laughs> Again, just me. In the olden days, when I was little, Ellen, you know what we had for entertainment? We had a window and an ashtray. That's what we had, which was nice, because smoking calmed my little eight-year-old nerves. I'm from New Orleans. I don't know if allowing electronic devices is a good thing. I mean, they already had trouble getting people to pay attention to the safety announcements, and now they may as well just text us. And then we, oh, OK, I know what we do. Anyway, I want to keep up with the time, so I, I've, I've decided to change the rules here, because normally we tell people to turn off their cameras and their phones and their pagers, but that's too strict. So today, I'm going to allow pagers. Anybody, if you have pagers, you can leave them on. No pagers? OK. Well, then pay attention to this, because we're all about to dance.